kids, I have uh, the new Black Panther. Um, this is a comic book uh, style Black Panther uh, in kind of this is all black outfit, cape. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we're going to tear into this and we're going to take a look. Um, I am not, so I wanted to talk about the, uh, the, the, the windowless packaging. From an ideological standpoint, I, um, uh, from an ideological standpoint, I don't have any problem with this. Um, I think it's, I think it's fine. Um, you know, I understand what, I understand what Hasbro is doing. Um, I actually think that the G.I. Joe Classified is pretty cool just because they have a lot more real estate to show out, off the artwork because they have some really cool artwork. I think actually, actually Marvel Legends has some good artwork too, but it's right here, right? And in my mind, this is what should be on the front and this should just be on the back, right? Get a, get a photo of what the figure looks like. I mean, we've got a different photo and a different, um, different pose, but um, I mean, uh, that's the build a figure. So you definitely have a lot more space to put stuff on. You got like a big, huge build a figure. Um, uh, actually, I don't like this as much because I like the uh, the other one where it showed which uh, characters, like like pictures of characters that um, that. Uh, it told you what what characters you needed to get to get the uh, the build a figure, and I know this accomplishes kind of the same thing by putting a like a white one on the figure that you're holding, and then uh, the other ones are black. Um, but uh, I think that that visual interest is also part of the cross sell because you're looking at like you know I mean Namor. There could be different, different definitely. I mean, there's a bunch of different types of Namor uh, action figures. And um, obviously this one is the movie, the MCU version, but you know, you know, who, who, who knows? Like you wouldn't know that from just Namor. You need the picture, you need the, you need the visual representation of that figure. So I, I definitely think that, um, that the Marvel Legends team uh, has made a mistake uh, with this style, with, you know, this, the artwork being kind of like a background and then uh, and then the action figure I get it um, I, I know they want to they want these on the pegs and they want kids to see this and and know that they're getting this action figure um, but I think they you know I, I think I think they would accomplish the same thing if they were putting this artwork on the front you know this dope artwork and then um, and then the cool um, uh, uh, you know, the, the picture of the action figure on the back, you know, with all this stuff, you know, the build a figure, uh, it, it calls out the build, build a figure piece, you know, and then, uh, and then the fists and stuff. And then like on the sides, you've got, uh, you know, you've got the build a figure and then pictures of all the characters or all the action figures that you need to buy, um, to get it. So, um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was, um, so from an ideal, uh, idealistic uh, standpoint I don't care about the window boxes I don't collect window boxes I don't collect boxes um, it's an easy decision it makes it easy on me to make the decision that I'm going to open this up and I'm going to throw this in the garbage um, it's one of the reasons why I uh, you know I do these reviews because if I wanted to look back on the packaging I could look at this video um, and I you know I, I don't have any like connection to this this video this uh, this packaging um, so it's it 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 makes this an easy decision for me with the retro packaging. Um, some of the characters I'm like I really want the action figure. Some of them I'm like I really like the presentation of that the card back and and the bubble and stuff like that. So I'm glad that um, I'm glad that the um, the the Marvel Legends team have decided to kind of retain that uh, you know that aspect. And I think they, I think they recognized that it was something that collectors really, really wanted. Um, so recently, they they uh, they released a new line of action figures based on the um, the Dungeons Dragons animated series, and they come on a card, but the figure is on in a box that is on the card, and it, I think it looks ridiculous. They might as well. It, it's either a box or a card. It's not both. 
right? I think that that <clears throat> trying to do both that you know compromise just creates you know something that nobody wants. Um, but it, again, it doesn't matter if you're going to open it and throw that card box away. Um, it's not a big deal. Uh, so I don't, you know, I don't really care. Um, I did buy a Marvel Legends, um, uh, um, you know, like windowless box at a Target. Opened it up in the parking lot because I knew, uh, I knew there was, you know, a really good chance that the, the figures that I wanted weren't going to be in the box. So uh, opened it up, took a look. Um, it was a Lando Calrissian instead of uh, instead of Spider Man. So I took that straight back to um, uh, to um, the customer service counter, and I returned it right away. And I told them uh, I told them that they had sold me defective merchandise. Um, so uh, so anyway, yeah. Like I'm really not interested in buying. I mean. I don't know. I'm never, I never say never, but you know, I'm a lot, I'm a lot more wary of buying these, uh, these action figures at retail. Now I don't have, I don't have a problem with, um, uh, or I, I don't think that there's any problem with, uh, something like entertainment earth or, um, big bad toy store. Right. Cause, um, I'm going to get it. Um, I'm going to, uh, you know, they're, they're going to do a good job. I'm going to order it. It's going to come, I'm going to take it out of the box and it's going to be exactly what I paid for it. Um, in that case, I think the, uh, the potential problem is maybe quality control because, you know, when they're stuffing these action figures in boxes, um, there's a lot more of a chance that something, you know, like a defective, uh, action figure is going to, going to slip by. Um, maybe something's broken in the box, whatever. Um, but anyway, so, um, the uh but the other thing is is like i bought this on amazon and i pre-ordered it so this is this is probably not something that was returned and then sent back to me um but i could see that i could see that for for things that are on amazon in stock that if you order it i mean amazon doesn't know the difference they're gonna send it back to you it could have been a return and it could have been a fig swap so um so yeah, that's definitely going to be a problem uh, going forward, and I don't, uh, I I don't, uh, I I don't have any any compulsion about letting Hasbro know that they're screwing up if uh, if this becomes you know if if this continues to be a problem, um, I think they really need to rethink their strategy around this, um, you know, whether that's putting a small window so we can see the action figure or, or something, but, um, you know, or, or put some sort of tamper, uh, you know, tamper tape on it, you know, like a tamper proof tape so that we can see if the factory seal has been broken, um, you know, and, uh, and whether or not we want to buy it. Uh, the other thing they, they should do is, um, you know, they shouldn't allow their retail partners to sell, uh, things that were returned because, uh, because this, is a potential problem so uh, yeah Hasbro has to fix it whether that's going back to window boxes or figuring out how this uh, you know how this is gonna affect their distribution um, yeah they definitely need to to figure something out because um, so uh, because it's you know it, it, it is creating a lot more potential problems it is it, it's it's ex uh, making the figure swapping problem exponential because you know people i mean you know the guy who might have thought twice about going and returning an action figure a you know bogus action figure and you know sweating it out at the at the return counter i mean he's got a lot less to worry about by throwing something in his packaging taping it up and sending it right back so um so yeah, um, let's open this up and we'll see, we'll find out and see if the figure that I bought is inside. All right, thanks. thank goodness that uh, the, uh, the, the figure inside was as advertised. Um, this is, um, 
I actually did a quick uh, quick Google search uh, right before this, uh, checking out the Marvel fandom uh, database because I wanted to see like how he how his look has evolved over the years. Um, I believe that this is more or less a uh, first appearance version of um, of Black Panther. Um, he did lose the it seems like he did lose the cape for a little while, but then he gained it back in the eighties because, um, and I I. I've read or I've read a few um comic books with um uh with uh the the Black Panther in it and um I do remember the cape um I couldn't remember if it was a shorter cape I I seem to remember it being a little longer um maybe down to his knees still still a a short cape um uh comparatively uh, but, uh, but yeah, I just, I, I definitely think that a lot of that had to do with sort of artist interpretation, uh, and that type of thing. Um, but, um, but yeah, really cool, uh, really cool figure. Um, I would say this is, this is close enough to what he looked like in the, uh, in the late eighties and early nineties when I was reading comic books. Um, I would say the main difference is that instead of these ropes going across to hold his, um, uh, hold his cape on, uh, he, instead he, um, I think the cape was just clasped at the top and he had kind of like a strap, like a, I don't know, like a utility strap. Um, haven't read a lot of, uh, Black Panther. Um, I was aware of him before his entrance into the MCU. And, um, uh, but I think, uh, I think most of, most of what I've read, um, was, um, kind of like, um, sort of his involvement in like larger, uh, Marvel storylines, of course, around the same time as Civil War was his uh, his wedding to Storm, um, and then um, I read uh, one of the Jonathan Hickman runs um, where I think that led up to like the secret Secret Wars or whatever, and uh, and he was part of the Illuminati and and he was um, one of the aspects of of Black Panther that I like a lot is is because he's the leader of a sovereign nation and so he he tends to have dealings with um Dr. Doom and Namor who are also um like the leaders of uh basically sovereign people um, oops and um and so in that way he can and he can tend to be he he can be a sort of a gray char character although he's definitely on the more heroic end of that um you know of that council uh Dr. Doom being the you know the most evil and then um Namor being what I would characterize as uh the most in between um I really uh I'm really excited about Namor's uh entrance into the MCU um I can't wait to see Wakanda forever uh I I I feel like they're I, I heard that it's going to be a three-hour movie and I've um and uh, I think that a, there's going to be a lot of time that is going to be a tribute to T'Challa and and representative of a, of a tribute uh, to uh, Pat, uh, um, Chadwick Boseman, um, and um, and I, I'm really looking forward to that. I think they're they're really going to do um, a, a great tribute uh, to that character, to the actor, and um, and it's a shame that we uh, that we're that we're not going to get to see him um, in the movies, um, uh, you know, in, in the, in the, in the coming movies and the coming, coming saga. Uh, I definitely think that, that there was, it's, a, you know, there's that actor did a great job of portraying, um, um, uh, T'Challa and, uh, and I think he, he would have done a great job and, and they could have built, uh, you know, used him as a cornerstone for that franchise. Um, but I don't, I don't want to, uh, um, I, I don't want to, um, shrink the, uh, the contribution that, that, that Chadwick Boseman had to, uh, you know, the MCU. Um, he was, uh, he, he had, you know, he, he played a pivotal role in several of the Avengers movies, um, in, um, Civil War, which is, you know, I know it's a Captain America movie, but it's basically an Avengers movie. And then, um, uh, Infinity War, and uh an end game um his um and then obviously the the solo movie which was so great um and then you know i think that there's you know he had there was a great en ensemble in that movie too um so uh so i'm i'm really looking forward to seeing the continuation of what where those characters are 
um, you know, how their, uh, how their story progresses, what happens to Wakanda, um, yeah, and how, um, you know, what, uh, what we get in the MCU going forward. Um, uh, I've, uh, there's always been an association between, um, Black Panther and, uh, and Namor. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that they were both, uh, introduced through the Fantastic Four comic books. Um, I know for a fact Black Panther's first appearance was um, in the Fantastic Four, and I am 92.5% sure that Namor's um, uh, um, first appearance was in, in Fantastic Four. Uh, but, um, and obviously Doctor Doom was like, uh, his first appearance was Fantastic Four number five. Uh, or something like that. Um, so uh, it makes sense with the association between Black Panther and Namor for Namor to be introduced into the MCU in a Black Panther movie. Um, I think they're they're doing um, they're doing something, you know this this formula that I I think is um, has worked in the past, and I I think it could continue to work uh, where they introduce a. Um, you know, a new hero, and the hero is kind of an opposition with the some of the heroes that we like, and so uh, he's basically the villain for for a huge portion of uh, you know of the story, and then and then they you know everybody you know everybody seems to find their way to the correct side, and and they team up. Um, that actually kind of happened with uh, with the Black Panther when he was uh, introduced in Civil War. He was um, he was basically you know coming after uh, after Bucky, um, and uh, and so that put him in opposition with um, with uh, Captain America, um, and uh, and we got a lot of uh, a lot of um, uh, what am, what am I trying to say? We got a lot of uh, um, you know kind of story. Uh, through that. Um, anyway, um, I, I yammered on about uh, about the character, about the future of the the character in the MCU, um, and um, but I haven't talked about the the figure. Um, the figure is really great. Um, he's got a, a really good look and feel. Um, he's got pinless joints. Um, you know all the all the great uh, you know, all, all the great features of articulation. Um, you know, obviously because this is a comic book figure, this, this is a pretty simplistic figure. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I was, when I was first looking at, at this figure, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I love it. I, this is exactly what I want out of, out of my action figures. But I was looking at this and I was thinking, gosh, wouldn't it be great if, um, you know, if the Marvel Legends, because they're so simple, because they're so basic, um, wouldn't it be great if the, the price point was lower than uh, most of the other six inch figures in, in uh, you know, on the market? And, um, you know, I really think that this uh, this figure should be nineteen twenty dollars instead of uh, instead of twenty five dollars. But um, but, you know. Uh, as long as as long as collectors like me are willing to pay twenty five dollars, um, you know Hasbro is going to charge that, um, and it's uh, you know it's it's it, it's it's too bad. Um, you know, I I pass on on you know some um, some figures. Uh, the other one in the other comic book figure in this wave was, and let me read this because I don't want to. I'm going to butcher it anyway. Oops. I'm gonna butcher it. I grabbed the I grabbed the box, and it's this one, the Hatut Zaraz, um, or Zeraze, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I wasn't super familiar with it, with uh, that um, that character, uh, but it turns out that that character is actually a um, uh, you know uh, an army builder because uh, the Hatut Zaraze uh, was a um, like the Wakandan secret police that. Uh, decided to have their own agenda, and uh, they ended up fighting um, uh, fighting Black Panther. Um, they look cool. They, I mean, they look like white Black Panther action figures with guns, and um, 
and I thought about it, but I was like, ah, this isn't really essential to my collecting. Um, if it, the price comes down, uh, I might buy a couple, but uh, but we'll see. Uh, if they uh, if they sell out, uh, no 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 big deal, no skin off my nose, um, as they say. Uh, uh, T'Challa here comes with two uh, fist hands. Uh, I do like his kind of like scratching claw uh, hands. I might do what I do with a lot of action figures to vary it up. I use I'll do one fist, one uh, one open hand. Uh, but for now, I kind of like him with his two clawed hands. He looks like he's ready for action, um, and with his, you know, his 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 style of attack. Um, so, um, and then I've got uh, the leg of the build a figure. Uh, I'm not really interested, super interested in this build a figure because it's a MCU figure and not a comic book figure. Uh, but pretty cool. Um, I do note. Uh, that there are, uh, he's got pinless joints in the knees. I uh, don't know about the rest of his body, but I would assume that that's, uh, that's pretty standard. Got a little bit of a little plastic uh, uh, nick right there. Um, and then he's got some sort of like shark tooth jaw, uh, shark jaw around his uh, shin there. Um, he's got some spines right here on his, uh, on his boots. Uh, he's blue. So, so, cause I guess, uh, most of the Atlanteans are blue and, um, Namor is not blue. So, um, yeah, I, I, I know that they came out with the Namor a couple of years ago, three years ago, something like that. Um, hoping to get a, uh, hoping to get a com comic book Namor. Um, you know, uh, I, I saw the... I saw the um, the teases for next year for 2023. Or I guess they weren't teases. I guess they were leaks. Let me talk about that for a, for a minute. But but I'll finish what I was saying. So um, uh, the um, so I'd love to get Namor. Um, I've got a few of the uh, I've got a few action figures that are actually the um, uh, that were actually part of the team, the New Warriors. I wasn't really big on on that, but. There are certain characters on that team that I really like. Uh, Darkhawk, which is which is a actually I don't have Darkhawk, but uh, but I, I have Nova. <laughs> I do like Nova. Um, I think it was kind of weird for him to join this team that's kind of like street level um, uh, street level brawlers, and um, uh, and uh, I have Firestar. Which or I, I I don't have Firestar. I ordered Firestar with the the three pack of the Spidey and Friends or Sp Spider Man and his Amazing Friends, the um, that old uh, show from the seventies or possibly eighties. I do remember watching it when I was a kid, and that's why I bought it because that's that's my earliest memory of Spider Man is watching that cartoon. Actually, my earliest memory is probably from I think it was called the Electric Company, which was like a Sesame Street type show that for some reason featured Spider-Man. Um, and Spider-Man didn't talk, which was weird. Uh, I, re I remember distinctly that, that Spider-Man didn't talk. Um, but anyway, so, um, so, uh, but one of the things that I was looking at that, I was looking at that lineup thinking like, you know, what, what other characters would I need? Um, you know, if I, if I eventually get a Dark Hawk, uh, I love, I love that character. I do like uh, Night Thrasher. He was a pretty cool character, and um, uh, and so I've got the Firestar, the Nova. Um, I want to say I have someone else that was in that in that lineup or or something like that. But um, but the other one who was uh, basically kind of a mainstay on that uh, on that team was Namorita, and um, uh, and it's funny because she went from being you know like white caucasian skinned like namor is uh and then she was blue she's supposed to be uh namor's cousin i think and uh basically she's an atlantean superhero uh just like namor is um so um i did a i did a quick google search and i didn't see a marvel legends namorita come up so i'm gonna assume that they never came out with a, a namorita but um but i might um might be tempted to get a Namorita uh, just to just to kind of fill out my you know original new new Warriors roster. 
and uh, you know get that get that team or uh, you know piece pieces of that team uh, you know that might be fun to uh, to put together. Um, so anyway, let me go back to the leaks. Um, I was really thinking about this, and I I I kind of hope that uh, that in the future Marvel Legends uh, you know leaks their entire lineup for the year ahead because um i mean I, I i'm sure this i'm sure it would hurt them uh i i i think if it if it leaks from a you know from an unofficial source and it turns out to be like 99 you know 90 percent true 99 percent true i i think that that's a that's a i think that's a no-lose situation because uh people get hyped about characters that are on that um on that uh list you know they kind of figure out you know who, who's a who's a must-have who's a maybe um that type of thing um you know those ideas change when uh, once they have like you know concrete reveals people see what what version of the character they're they're going to be doing um but um you know people i think it i think it does you know does do a good job of hyping up the community as far as like you know what's going to be out there um i know for me um the uh, the rumors of a um the rumors of a um uh um doctor doom and S S comic book spectrum two pack uh is good you know or it, it, you know it is exciting because um you know i'm kind of interested in getting 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 some soup secret wars um uh comic book figures and um uh you know I, I have one Doctor Doom. It's a retro Doctor Doom, and it's in, you know, in a, um, you know, in a card. And I was even saying earlier in this, um, in in this uh, uh, review, how, you know, that presentation. Sometimes I'm like, I'm, I'm super excited about getting the action figure out of it, and sometimes I'm just like, I really want to keep this on the card. And Doctor Doom is one of those characters that I wanted to keep on the card because. I know that they're going to release another Doctor Doom and I'm going to have another chance to get Doctor Doom or if, you know, if if it takes too long, I I might be, you know, I might just buy a Doctor Doom, a used Doctor Doom on the um uh on the um on eBay or something just so that I can have it. Um but that's uh that's actually my point. So, um uh so with you know, with that idea like if if I know that all I have to do is wait one more year to get another Doctor Doom, um, another comic book version of Doctor Doom that is accurate to Secret Wars, I'm going to wait. Um, if I didn't know that that was coming out, I'd be tempted to buy it on eBay, right? So from Hasbro's point of view, it's better that I know and I'm hyped to to get that Doctor Doom because... Um, uh, because now they've guaranteed that I'm going to spend my Doctor Doom dollars on that action figure and not buy one on, on eBay because I have one, I want, you know, I want one to, to, to play around with one from eBay is just as good. Um, but, uh, but knowing that, that there's one coming, you know, I'm definitely going to buy the one that Hasbro puts out next year. Um, I would say that the only downside for Hasbro is if they have, you know, if they get into a situation where they can't deliver, you know, they've got a list of all these characters and the one that someone's favorite, you know, it doesn't, doesn't end up getting produced, gets pushed back, whatever, whatever it is, then, um, then there's a little bit of disappointment, but the fact that it was a leak and it's rumors, um, you know, I mean, there can be some conjecture, but no one, you know, or, or, you know, it kind of gives uh, Hasbro a pass because someone's not going to say, well, Hasbro didn't promise us where we we're going to get, you know, X action figure. So, um, so, you know, you can't really hold them responsible for an unofficial leak. Um, but so far, it looks like it might be pretty accurate. Uh, they did tease some, um, some action figures at PulseCon. Some of the action figures that were on that list uh, like the orb molecule man. Um, and, um, and I think the, I think the, uh, I think the X-Men in the blue uniforms, um, is, uh, you know, I think that was, that was teased. Um, 
and um, I, uh, you know, for the most part, I'm not, I'm not big into X-Men, but man, they look really good, and I am super tempted, so um, if you, uh, if you like my review, or you enjoy my rambling, I hope you hit, uh, you know, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, uh, leave a comment down below, I'd love to hear what you think about, uh, this action figure, other action figures that have been revealed lately, um, you know, windowless packaging, I mean, I think I can guess what pretty much everybody's, uh, opinion on windowless packaging is, um, but, um, uh, but yeah, I, I really appreciate you watching my video, and I'll see you on the next one.